<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and yes, we're going to be taking a look at the Vita for the first time in a while here. And today we're going to be taking a look at Zero Syscall 6 and how to set up and install it. Now in case you do not know, Zero Syscall 6 is a plugin which allows your Vita in short to play higher firmware DLC, games, and all that fun stuff while not having to update your firmware. So for example, I currently have a 3.60 firmware PlayStation TV, and I don't want to update it, but I want to play some of the latest games that are out and some other stuff that's in my collection. Now I have made a very similar video to this for the ReFood plugin. However, it's now recommended to use Zero Syscall 6 because, well, it's better than ReFood. So if you want to upgrade from ReFood to Zero Syscall 6, or you would like to install Zero Syscall 6 for the first time, you're in the right place. First of all, you are going to need your PlayStation TV, Vita TV, or PlayStation Vita. Regardless of what it is, you're going to need a Vita system that has already been modified. I have several tutorials on how to set that up and showing basic usage of how to use and set up a modified Vita. Next up, we're also going to need a method of transferring files so we can install the plugin if we want to. And I'm going to show you two different methods of doing this, a manual method and an automatic method. What you want to do is completely up to you, but I will show both methods here. The first one is going to be the manual method, in which we're going to download the plugin file on our computer and transfer it over to our Vita. So with that, you'll need a method of accessing your Vita, either through USB or FTP, and you're going to need a PC nearby. So with that, I'm just going to navigate down to Vita Shell and open this up. Now, once you have your Vita Shell available, it should look a little something like this. If you do not have unsafe mode enabled like this and you cannot access UR0, that's fine. What you can do is actually go to your settings, which are going to be up here, and you'll need to navigate to Hinkaku settings and enable unsafe homebrew. And once you have that enabled, you should be able to access everything on Vita Shell. So again, once you have that set up, we can go into Vita Shell. And now at this point, you can press the select button and you can start up your FTP server if you're going to be doing that. If you want to use USB, you can cancel out of this, press the start button, change your select button here to USB if that's what you're going to be using. As you can see, mine is already USB, but it's defaulting to the FTP setup. But regardless, you can select what protocol you want to use to transfer here, exit out, and then press select and you'll be able to connect. Now let's go ahead and move over to the PC and you can keep this up and running if you're using either USB or FTP. I'm going to use FTP for this method. Down below in the description, I'm going to have a link to the Zero Syscall 6 GitHub page, which just explains the usage and all that fun stuff right here. Now what you can do is go to releases and download the latest release of Zero Syscall 6. It's going to be Zero Syscall 6skprx and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Here I'm just going to save it into its own folder. So if you're doing it via FTP, I'd recommend using some kind of FTP transfer application such as WinSCP. And for this, we're just going to do FTP, no encryption, enter in your IP, which is showing up. Mine is going to be 192.168.1.249. The port, I messed that up there, but the port is going to be 1337 and you wanna do anonymous login, and you can click login. Now, once you are logged in here, this is the Vita on the right, and we need to navigate to UR0, tie, and here we need to transfer over that skprx file. So on the left, you can simply navigate to wherever you saved it on your PC. Once you find it, you can right click, upload, press okay, and it's uploaded just like that. Now, if you'd like to edit the config.txt file, you can just right click and edit. And then right here, we need to type this in. So we need to type just underneath all this. It has to be under kernel and it could be anywhere here, but it has to be underneath kernel and above main. But you're going to type in UR0 
colon tie slash zero syscall six dot skprx. Once that's all added, you can save it, exit out, and it should transfer over. Just make sure it transfers. So now it has transferred, and the way you'll be able to check that is you can again go in here, open it up, and as you can see, zero syscall six has been added and it has to be exactly like this. So now with all that set up, that's it, it's already installed. We can move back over to the Vita. Back over at the Vita, you can cancel, and then close out of Vita Shell completely, as well as any other applications. Now, first of all, I want to show you that my Vita cannot run higher firmware games. So right here, I have a physical copy of Deadbolt that I have picked up. I've just inserted the cartridge in my system, and right here, if I load it up, Check this out, it shows an error has occurred, and this is because I am on firmware 3.60, and this game requires a higher firmware. Well, now that we have zero syscall 6 set up, we can close out of this, turn off the Vita, and turn it back on. So once our Vita has restarted, I already have Hinkaku Inzo set up, so everything is set up right off the get-go when we turn off the system, but I still have the cartridge in, and if I go into Deadbolt, Check this out, it's loading up, there doesn't seem to be an error, and after a few seconds here, the game is booting up. This doesn't just have to be cartridge-based games, this can be any games you have installed digitally, any games you have physically, and of course, you know, any games that are either purchased through PlayStation Network, or you might have backups of them installed thanks to no NP DRM. But as you can see, the game is working just fine. As a heads up here, another method of editing that configuration file is going into UR0, going into TIE, and this is all on Vita Shell. And you can come over to config.txt, press X on here. And from here, again, you just go within the kernel settings. And at the bottom, you press triangle insert empty line and from here this is where you would enter what we just did except we used a full keyboard on here a final thing on this as well i'm going to just delete this empty line but if you are using refood and you're upgrading you're going to have refood sitting in here somewhere let's pretend this is refood you want to delete refood out of this config file so you can just highlight your refood plugin tap triangle and delete it and then once you exit out, like that for example, once you exit out, you can save, and that should be saved on your next restart. Because you don't need both refood and zero syscall 6, you just need one of them. Now for the automated step, what if you have something such as auto plugin or auto plugin 2 set up? Well, again, I'm going to show you right here. I've just reverted the changes, and an error has occurred because I don't have any plugin allowing higher firmware games to be accessed on here. So if you followed my auto plugin tutorial, you can simply load up auto plugin or the newly released auto plugin 2. They're really both going to work about the same. And once you fire this up, newer versions of auto plugin and of course auto plugin 2 contain zero syscall 6. So for this, you can just go into plugins for Vita, install plugins, and press X on zero syscall six, but make sure it is your UR zero setup. And if you have refood set up on here, you can go to uninstall plugins, select whichever plugin refood would be, press X on that plugin and it will uninstall it. So now that we have zero syscall six installed on here through auto plugin, you can just go down to the main menu, go to exit, and it is going to restart the console when you press X. Now yet again, I have restarted the Vita, and if we come down here, we can go to Deadbolt. I still have my physical copy in here, and you all saw I was getting an error and it was not able to load up before. We've just gotten past the splash screen there, so it was able to boot up without an error, and the game is running just fine, meaning that our plugin install worked. So there we go, Zero Syscall 6 is installed and working on the system, the successor to Refood. Again, if you are using Refood and it works fine for you, you can stay on there, but this is the successor and has been known to be better in a multitude of ways. One of the main things being with the very few games or pieces of DLC that don't seem to work with Refood, 
Zero Syscall 6 seems to handle them just fine. So whether you're a new modified Vita user or you're an existing user who is using ReFood, it would be worthwhile installing Zero Syscall 6 on your system. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.